Greetings, Kalaga! My name is Leia, your future nurse. Today, I will show you the assessment for the female reproductive system and urinary system. First, I will just shortly introduce to you these areas for further insights. The female reproductive system is involved in the sexual activity and fertility, which includes the organs such as uterus, ovaries, fallopian tubes, and vagina, as well as the hormones. While the female urinary system has similar parts and functions to the male urinary system, it expels excess body fluids via kidney, ureter, urinary bladder, and urethra. The equipments needed in conducting this assessment is the examination gloves, drapes, supplemental lighting if needed. Now, let's do the procedure. Prior to the assessment, first we need to identify the client to give the right care and management to them. Introduce yourself to the patient and explain clearly the procedure because it allows them to understand and encourages compliances throughout the assessment. Provide privacy by drawing the curtains and closing the door to allay fear and anxiety. Do not forget to properly wash your hands for infection control and use gloves to protect the patient and at the same time protect yourself. Aside from that, ask the client to void first to have a continuous procedure and to be not distracted while performing the assessment. Then, obtain the patient's health history. Good morning, ma'am. How are you? Well, I'm good. Thank you. May I know your name and your birthday? My name is Lady Amel Dravaya, and my birthday is May 25th, 2000. Nice to meet you, ma'am. My name is Leia, your nurse for today. I would like to ask your permission because I'm going to do an assessment of your reproductive and urinary system. I am the one who will examine your genital area to check if there's any abnormalities in this part. But before that, I will ask some couple of questions regarding to the assessment. Is that okay with you, ma'am? Yes, it's fine. Okay. Ma'am, do you remember the age at onset of your menstruation? Yes, I was 13 years old that time. When was your last menstruation period? I think it was July 14, 2021. Is your menstruation cycle is regular? Yes, it is regular. What is the duration of your menstruation cycle and the amount of daily flow? It lasted for 7 days and it is heavy flow. Is your menstruation painful? Yes, sometimes. Okay ma'am, do you notice any vagina discharge? Yes, it is a white sticky liquid. Do you drink plenty of water? I drink 5 glass of water every day. Okay, what is your frequency of urination at night and do you experience having painful urination? Once only, before I sleep, and no I do not experience having painful urination. Okay ma'am, do you have any history of sexually transmitted diseases in your past and now to your present? None. Do you have a sexual partner? And when was the last time you have a sexual intercourse if there is? No, I don't have sexual partner and also I am not doing any sexual intercourse. Okay ma'am, let's begin with the assessment. Explain to the client on what are you going to do, then position the client supine with feet elevated on the stirrups of the examination table. Alternately, assist the client into a dorsal recumbent position with knees flexed and the thighs sternally rotated. Alright ma'am, can you please do a supine position then I will assist you into a dorsal recumbent position. Okay, fine. Inspect the distribution amount and characteristics of the pubic hair. 
Then, inspect the skin of the pubic area for parasites, inflammation, swelling, and lesions. To assess the pubic skin, adequately separate the labia majora and labia minora. Okay ma'am, I am going to inspect now your vaginal area. Okay ma'am, I see your skin over the mons pubis it is clear with normal hair distribution. The pubic hair distribution and amount are inverse triangle. I don't see any nits or lice and inflammation. Negative for discoloration, swellings, and lesions. Ma'am, I am going to touch the inside of your thighs by placing my glove hands, separating your labia majora, using my thumb and index finger for better inspection of your vulva. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, the labia majora and minora are symmetrical. They are smooth, somewhat wrinkled. Unbroken and slightly pigmented skin surface. There's no discoloration, lesions, or trauma. Negative for ecchymosis, excoriations, nodules, swellings, or rash and foul odor. The skin glands and Bartholin's glands are not seen by the naked eye. All thorough, there's no presence of abnormalities upon inspection. Take note that the abnormalities you can find here are the followings. The pediculosis pubis, vulvar epidermal cyst, edema, wart-like papules, herpes, infestation, and so on. Aside from that, the occasional sebaceous cysts are normal within limits. They are non-tender, yellow nodules that are less than 1 cm. The normal deviations in the gerarchic it is atropied, appears flatter and smaller, while the multiparous women, the majora are separated and the minora are more prominent. Now, let's proceed to the assessment. Inspect the clitoris, urethral orifice, and vaginal orifice, separating the labia minora. Then, palpate the inguinal lymph nodes. I'm going to expose the prepuce of your clitoris. It's normal. It is approximately 2 cm in length and 0.5 cm in diameter and there's no lesion. Now to your urethral orifice. It is a slit-like in appearance. It is in the middle, free from discharges, swellings, or redness, and it is about the size of a pea. Now ma'am, can you please bear down? for the inspection of your vaginal orifice. Okay, good. Next is I will palpate your inguinal lymph nodes. Tell me if you feel pain whenever I palpate the area. Here, ma'am? No. Here? No. Here, ma'am? No. Here? No. Now? To the other side. Here. No. Here. No. Here. No. Here. No. Here. No. Mom negative for pain, tenderness, masses, and edema. And also, there's no enlargement of your inguinal lymph nodes. Also, there's no presence of abnormalities upon palpation. Bear in mind to the exposure of clitoris. If the size is greater than 2 cm in length and 0.5 cm in diameter, the patient might be suffering from clitoromegaly, pseudohermaphroditism, or chancre. The abnormal findings in the urethral orifice are the urethral carancal, urethral carcinoma, and prolapse of urethral mucosa, and so on. In this part, do not touch the urethral meatus because it may cause pain and urethral spasm. And if discharge and swellings are present, obtain a specimen and change to a clean pair of gloves. While in the vaginal orifice, the abnormal findings are pale color, dryness, 
atrophy, aging, fear, fissure, bulging, and discharges. Take note that the normal vaginal discharge is a white and free fall odor. Some white clumps may be seen. It is the mass clumps of epithelial cells. Regarding to the palpation of inguinal lymph nodes, if pain is felt, it might be caused by infection, inflammation, injury, and the enlargement of lymph nodes may cause the patient to have a viral illnesses. Remember to document all the findings, evaluate the other needs of the client, clean the equipment's use, and discard the used drape and examination gloves to the proper waste disposal, and then wash properly your hands for infection control. I hope I clearly demonstrated the assessment of the female reproductive and urinary system. Once again, Kalaga, your future nurse, Love, Leia. See you and thanks for watching. Bye!